this problem is asked in 2022 based on percentages when 70 percent of a number h is added to another number y the sum becomes 165 percent of the value of y when 60 percent of the number h is added to another number z then the sum becomes 165 percent of the value of z which one of the following is correct say a and b are positive numbers if a is equal to b you can write a by b the ratio as 1 when you bring b this side it becomes a by b that is equal to 1 when a less than b you bring b this side a by b less than 1 when a greater than b you bring b this side a by b greater than 1 see these two inequalities hold true for positive values see minus 2 is less than minus 1 okay minus 1 is bigger right so minus 2 by minus 1 this is 2 by 1 this is 2 if you see this is greater than 1 so this doesn't hold for negative for negative a by b greater than 1 when a less than b okay and when a greater than b a by b less than 1 opposites hold my friends when a and b are negative i hope you are getting so without loss of generality we will take h and y as positive either you can take them as positive or negative okay you cannot take one as positive another as negative okay so without loss of generality i am taking x and y and z as positive clear now 70 percent of x that is 70 by 100 x is added to another number y the sum becomes 160 plus 165 of y now 70 by 100 x is equal 165 by 100 y minus y here lcm 100 165 y minus 100 y okay so 70 by 100 x is equal to 65 y by 100 70 x is equal 65 y uh, x by y is equal 60 y 65 by 70 this is less than 1 that means see x by y less than 1 65 by 70 is less than 1 no so x is less than y so here x is greater than y here x is greater than y these two options are eliminated so from first statement we got x is less than y now second statement 60 percent of the number x is added to z then the 165 by 100 z so 60 x by 100 is equal 165 by 100 z minus z this would be 165 z minus 100 z that is equal 65 z by 100 this is 60 x by 100 so 60 x is equal 65 z x by z is equal 65 by 60 this is greater than 1 so when x by z is greater than 1 x is greater than z so from second statement we got x is greater than z see here x is less than z this is not our answer this is our answer see x is greater than z so z is smaller than x okay x is greater than z now this x is less than y so this is our answer <laughs> <laughs>